What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you guys are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Shamira Candice. I am a first time mom for those of you guys who are just now watching. And I'm just giving you guys basically a rundown of my whole pregnancy journey, pregnancy experience. Letting you guys know my symptoms all throughout the week. Showing you guys my sonograms, ultrasound appointments, everything that's been going on with the doctor. So if you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button below so you guys can stay updated on what I'm posting. So yeah, let's get into this update. It's gonna be a 37 through 39 weeks pregnancy update. I am currently 39 weeks and this baby is ready to come out. She is too big and her kicks are too hard. <laughs> So yeah, it's about that time. So first things first, I'm gonna start off with weight, which is what I usually start off with. Um, in my previous video, I let you guys know how much I weighed. If you guys haven't watched that video, make sure you guys watch. I believe in my previous video, I was weighing 171. I'm currently weighing 174 at 39 weeks. So I just gained just a couple more pounds. I now have to go to my appointments weekly just because I'm getting closer to my due date. They just want to make sure the baby's healthy, um, her heart rate is fine. So every time I go into my appointment every week, it's usually pretty quick. It's just basically just checking the baby's heart rate with the fetal Doppler and I have to, they have to collect a urine sample. They do that every single time I go into my appointment and what else? But yeah, that's basically it. Once the doctor comes in, it literally takes like five minutes. She just checks the heart rate with using the fetal Doppler. And then that's basically it. She asks me if I have any questions and I'm good to go. Let's get into some symptoms that I've been having. So currently I have just been overly tired, fatigued, whatever you want to call it. But it just like just came over me like the minute I wake up, I have all these plans as to, or before I go to sleep at night, um, I have all these plans of what I'm going to do in the morning. I'm going to get this accomplished, this accomplished. And as soon as I get up in the morning, I eat breakfast. And then <laughs> all those plans just like fall to the wayside. I literally just want to go back to sleep. And I could literally sleep all day. I'm just completely tired. It just hit me towards the end of my pregnancy. I don't know if it has to do with um, just preparing myself for labor or I don't know, but I just become extremely fatigued. Another symptom that I've been having, but I've always had it, but it's just becoming more intense um, now that I'm towards the end of my pregnancy. Um, but yeah, walking is definitely getting very hard to do. So normally I'll be able to walk around a store, you know, go shopping. If I were to, I would have to sit down and take breaks. Um, or I would just have to walk really slow just because um, she's already head down, but it's just becoming, it's just a lot of pressure down below. Um, and also when I start to walk, she tends to move a lot. So it's just like with the added pressure and then her kicking around, it's just like, I need to sit down. <laughs> Another symptom I've been having, and I've been watching a couple of videos of people saying the same thing, but a popping noise. So popping noise or just like a like a water water gush noise. Yeah, let me know if you guys have experienced this. But it's the baby, you know, you could the baby is moving around, of course. But it's a, now you can hear it a lot more. You can hear maybe the amniotic fluid just gushing around, and it's also like a popping noise. I don't know how else to explain it. But if you guys have experienced the popping noise and just like the water gush noise let me know because it's been happening a lot so for example if i were to lay down and then get up you know you can hear the amniotic fluid moving or gushing and then if she were to move you can hear just like pops in there that's the best way i can explain it <laughs> another symptom i've been having which i've always been having is if you watch my previous videos i've mentioned this in there as well but just feeling uncomfortable sleeping there's never there's not a comfortable spot that just I mean with my um, my pregnancy pillow it definitely helps a lot but it's still just 
it is still just an uncomfortable sleep because your stomach's in the way and my baby she moved a lot at night so it's just like especially now that her kicks are definitely harder and more intense it's just like i'm just laying there at night she's just kicking ready to come out definitely can't wait to be able to sleep how i want to sleep even though i'll be very sad i mean obviously she'll be here but i'll definitely be sad because she just won't be in my belly anymore when i wake up she won't be kicking obviously like i said she'll be here but it's just one of the things where it's just like she's just inside your stomach i don't know how to explain it <laughs> That's basically it for my symptoms. It's nothing too brand new. Nothing has really popped up except I'd probably say just the fatigue and just the tiredness. I'm always tired. I just want to sleep. I can literally sleep all day. Yeah, that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys got to the end of this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see more of and I'll see you guys in the next video.